You're welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Gong, where we'll bring you updates from the Nigerian capital markets. This edition captures the market performance for Friday, June the 25th, 2021. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the equities market resumed downtrend as NSC ASI depreciated by minus 2.56% to close the week negative as investors lost 516.32 billion Naira. Its year-to-date returns currently stands negative at minus 6.49%. The All Share Index closed at 37,658.26 basis points with a market capitalization of 19.626 trillion Naira in 3,630 deals. The market closed with 24 gainers to 10 losers. The top gainers for equity were Honeywell Flower Mill PLC, Fitzin Healthcare PLC, and University Press PLC. While the top losers were NPF Microfinance Bank PLC, Union Bank Nigeria PLC, and Mutual Benefits Assurance PLC. Guaranteed Trust Holding Company PLC, FBN Holdings PLC, and United Capital PLC were the most active to boost market turnover. The NSI and market capitalization declined by minus 0.17% to close at 754.81 basis points and 536.52 billion naira respectively. The change in volume traded advanced to close at 7,710,971, while the value traded closed at 136.739 million naira in 27 deals executed for the day. The FMDQ group debt market size closed at 23.87 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate advanced by 0.06% to close at 411 naira, while the INE FX rate advanced by 0.03% to open at 411 naira 55 cobble and closed at 411 naira 67 cobble to a dollar. The FX Commodities Exchange ACI closed flat at 465.49, while the AEI closed flat at 169.09. On the exchange, the traded contract increased by 220.64% to close at 1,224 contracts, while the traded turnover increased by 226.40% to close at 26,936,800 naira. You can also check for global, commodity, currency and other indices on the economic dashboard displaying on the screen. For the highlight from last week Friday, Dr. Aya Tariba, an economist and CEO of Economic Associates, has decried the fact that Nigeria has no single state-owned enterprise that is listed on the capital markets. He made this assertion at the recent one-day Nigerian Economic Outlook Conference in Lagos. According to him, the securitization and financialization of government-owned entities through the capital markets will lead to efficiency and transparency of the operations. On what to watch, analysts expect that after a positive performance in the equities market last week Friday, the trend will continue today to resume the new week on the green zone. Also. Investors will be upbeat as the second quarter 2021 result of quoted companies expected in the month of July. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.proshareng.com to get more market updates. Do connect with us on all our social media platforms showing on the screen. Until we come away again, thank you for watching.